This video will show you how to configure the Hobo UX90-001 State Pulse Event or Runtime Logger with the KWH as part of the KWH kit. Down in the lower left hand corner of Hoboware Pro we see we have a UX90-001 connected. Click Launch Device. Again our typical launch logger window appears. The UX90001 has an internal read switch that can be activated with a proximity of a magnet, but for this exercise, we're going to be configuring it for pulses to monitor the output of the watt node kilowatt hour transducer. So under external, we have the ability to select pulse, state, event, and runtime. We'll show what, how all of those different things work in subsequent videos. For this, particular application, we want to select Pulse. If we click here, we'll have the ability to select different types of measurements. We want to select Counts and Raw Pulse. Now what we want to do is we want to scale those pulses so that they are recorded as kilowatt hours. So the way we do that is we click on the KWH button here. And under Data Assistance, we have the KWH Assistant. Click Create. Here is where we would select the model number watt node that we have connected. The WNAs are our legacy products. The new, the new ones are all WNBs. So for this example, we'll say we're going to be using the 3Y208. And what we want to do, and uh, basically there's a, a lookup table that is provided to us from watt node that's built into Hoboware. So all we have to do is just select the model number and the size of the CT we have connected to the watt node. Here we say we have 20 amp CTs. The, series, the output series based on those pulses, uh, by default, we get data recorded in kilowatt hours. We can also calculate average power in kW per interval uh, if we want to include that. There's also a cost calculator here that we can select where we can put in a flat rate of how much we spend per kilowatt hour, and it will calculate and plot that also. Click Save, and then we click Done. And you can see now there's a little parenthetical 1 here under KWH. That means it's scaled and we're ready to go. For more information on Hobo loggers and Hoboware, in Hoboware you can go to Help, Hoboware Help. You can go and look at your Hoboware User's Guide, or go to our website at OnsetComp.com.